97.9 The Box, it's Young Jazz from the Mad Hatter Morning Show here with Division, my guys. So the last time I saw y'all was September, it was September 5th, right? It was actually September 5th. It was September 5th, and my birthday is September 6th. Oh, yeah? So it was such a lit night, the concert. Did y'all go to the ballet after? Of course. I was at the ballet, too. Yeah. Yes, I didn't see y'all there, but I was there. So I was wondering, Mood came out in September, too, right? I don't remember. <laughs> but this is what I've read. So Mood came out in September, too. Is there like a pattern with September with y'all? Uh, wait, no, Mood couldn't have come out in September. No, I think Mood came out. Mood came out this year. No, it's 2018. Oh, wait, sorry, last year. Sorry. <laughs> last year after. Um, no, Mood, I think it was all before then. Oh, but we did actually end up putting out. It might have been, you know. September? It might have been. Anyways, let's, let's, the first let's run with that for now. The first songs we ended up putting out actually came out on September 5th, too, coincidentally. We had no idea. Yeah, the line in with me, yeah. So is that why you named the first album? No, no, it was we named didn't that realize. Wait, how'd you get the name September Fifth? There's a there's a record on um, on the first album called September Fifth, and that was a beat that he had, and I just that was the record where I, when I heard that beat, because we were trying to I was writing and he was producing at the time, and I was just like, listen, I don't care who calls for this record, I don't care what person wants this beat, I'm keeping this. This is I need this, and that became. The, official, the first official Division record. And so we named the album after that song. Okay, right. gotcha. Dope, dope, dope. Okay, so how how did y'all meet? Because a lot of people, for I was going around the office today, and a lot of people were like, I can't wait till Division comes, I love him. And I'm like, it's two of them. <laughs> so, but I can't, you know what, I can't say that. So I'm interviewing Brent Fires next week, and I had no clue he was a part of Sonda. And I was like, oh. I love Sandra, I love him. So I didn't know. So y'all <laughs> y'all get a lot of people that are confused by the fact that it's two of y'all? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Because, because the only one, they only hear one person mm -hmm. singing. So they always assume that it's just one person. But it's just because he's a producer and I'm the same thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So do y'all think it's like uh, something like new and hot in the industry? Because kind of like Magic Jordan was here last week. That's two guys, mm -hmm. uh, for example. So is it something like, how did y'all decide to collab together? Yeah, I, I wouldn't say it's new. I think people have been doing it forever, mm -hmm. you know. Michael Jackson, Quincy, Missy, Tim. I but y'all are like a group group. That's the difference. We just yeah. we actually called it something together, okay. you know. But the, the pairing of, of a singer and a producer that found the right, you know, musical chemistry that's been happening for a while, you know. A lot of the greats do that. Even yeah. Drake and Forty, you know. Yeah. yeah. So what's it like working for Drake? Uh fun you know it's, it's kind of just like family we've been doing it for a while to the point where you don't really notice it's like any different than what we would have been doing on our own and that's the great thing about our whole team where we're kind of so comfortable with each other that you're you're just like always in work mode even when you're not working you know so that's why there's always so many ideas and so many collaborations and it just really works well so like boy wanda and magic jordan did you know them before y'all signed to ovo Y'all like all met. Once. We met actually, yeah, we did. We yeah. met. We met Wonder a lot, a lot before, early, a lot earlier. And then Imagine Jordan, we met before we were on OVO, but while we had still had ties to them because Paul had started producing um, with them. He started producing uh, Run, Run, Hold On, We're Going Home. That was a record mm -hmm. that was actually co-produced with him and yeah. Imagine Jordan. And Amazing. so yeah, that that was before we got signed as as artists there. Mm -hmm. And you know our relationship with Forty went back a little bit too. So yeah, we we've, we've known a lot of the guys before actually being a part of the clique. Dope, dope. Yeah. So you guys are not well. You, are are y'all like? So I read that before you were trying to keep your identity like more secret or whatever. So is that like? Did y'all just decide to branch out from it or? It wasn't so much to keep it a secret. It was more just to put the focus on the music. Mm -hmm. You know, everything happened so quick with us that when we first started rolling things out we really knew that the music was like so strong that if we put it out it would be fine but i think everybody then took it as like we were hiding and we didn't want to show our face and our image but it was never that it was more just like let the music live and everything else will follow we just grew so quick that i think people start to think oh well they're really trying to like stay out of the public eye but kind of like you, her but not like her yeah but as you yeah. see we're here mm -hmm. Cool, cool, cool. So, Hallucinations is, Hallucinogenics is one of my favorite, favorite songs. So, have you ever had, like, a bad trip or hallucinated, something like that? 
I have. <laughs> what happened? How was it? How was the trip? Uh, it was actually when we were working on nothing was the same. Um, somebody brought some edible cookies, <laughs> and I had way more than I should have, and. I, some point that I just don't... remember being frozen. I could hear people talking to me, I just couldn't respond. <laughs> <laughs> and it felt like it lasted like seven years. Yeah, I yeah. definitely was feeling it the next day. Mm -hmm. so. Like the next day when you eat, you're like, wait a minute, is this happening to me again? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's play the mood game. Y'all have the song Mood that came out also. So let's play the mood game. So each of y'all, separate ones. Um, tell me what song you will set the mood for in this, these situations. So before bed. That. What do you mean by bed? This is no. We gonna get. We gonna get to that one before bed. Sleeping. Just before yeah. Bed. Before sleeping. Just like a chill, like a. Songs or just no, any songs. songs. That shower song. That you gotta have no, a shower that, that song. No, depends. There's different kinds of showers. Like a, when you're in your feeling shower. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 yeah. There's like a shower. There's a shower when you're just you're, high, you're about to go out. There's oh, a shower. Okay. What's your going you, out song then before you go out of the shower? I don't know. I listen to a lot of rap. Yeah. I listen to a lot of hip hop. So. Like what? Like. Like who? Everybody. Everybody. I'm like. You know, right, the past couple of weeks, as most people have been, I've been, you know, making my way through the Culture 2 album. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, just like everybody else, I, I listen to a lot of hip-hop, so if I'm about to go out, I'm 99.9% .9 The Culture. listening to hip-hop. What's your favorite song of The Culture? Right now? Probably Narcos. We just played Narcos this yeah, morning, yeah. I'm feeling it. Walking Like a Talking, Narcos. I like the Emoji Chain song. I, really, I, really <laughs> like I don't know why, I just love the Emoji Chain song. What about you? When you before you're about to go out, what song gets you pumped up? Before I'm about to go out? Mm -hmm. um, I like everything Metro's been doing lately. So, his stuff with 21. Um, some of his stuff. So Good Big is Sean. the best one on it. It's so good. That's my favorite song. Hands down. Some of the stuff with that's Big Sean, cool. obviously the stuff with Future. Mm -hmm. I guess maybe because I'm a beats guy, that's what I'm just like. Yeah. I'm rocking with Metro. So how'd you get into like doing beats? I kind of fell into it to be honest. Uh, I wanted to be a DJ, and this girl I was dating, her older brother was a DJ, so I always used to hear him playing music when I would go by their house. Mm -hmm. And one day I was like, you know what? Let me just like see if he'll teach me how to DJ. And I went there, and he's like, oh, I heard you play guitar. Do you mind, like, recording some guitar for me? I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. He's like, do you play bass, too? I was like, yeah, I can. <laughs> he's like, well, do you want to put down some bass? I was like, sure, whatever. He's like, well, <laughs> do you know anything about drums? I was like, yeah, I can play drums. <laughs> so you had every talent. You're like, yeah, no, I can do this. I can. So he's like, oh, here, I'll show you how to use the drum machine. And he's like, there, you just produced a song. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, you just produced a full song. So I literally just completely fell into it. And then you just kept going And then from, from there, I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, let me just keep going with it, like, see where I can take it. Mm -hmm. And it took me pretty far. What's your favorite instrument? <laughs> guitar. Guitar? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you ever do, like, a song where, you know, you sing, play guitar during the show? September 5th? Uh, during the show? No, we haven't. We've no? done Why not? We've done some stuff. Because I'm normally behind the boards, so I, I can't even get to stage. Yeah. Can walk around? <laughs> no, because then there's nobody controlling the sound. Like, I'm literally doing the, the mixing of it. The... But if you just want to do one acoustic song, you know, I think we could give you the... I'm here I for it. Can, I think, I you, think you if you're going to do it, you should do it tonight for the first time. <laughs> so I think you should just debut, get out there. It's Houston. Jasmine, we already you love y'all. the boards when you... When Thank you. you. I can come back and do the boards. I got it. I got <laughs> well, you. you. I got you. Okay, last but not least. Valentine's Day, right around the corner. So I have a question for you. What are the best gifts to get that I would get, like, you know, or a woman could get for a guy? Mm. I think you got to know your man. You know, I think every, everybody has individual, you know, preferences and individual tastes. But I think in general, um, if you just mean like a... A, not gen a, a general, one. a like, general Not like gift. cologne. I mean, cologne's not cheesy, but like... Something with a little extra thought. Like something that a guy would be like, dang, somebody did that? Yeah, I think it depends on the guy. Yeah. You know, okay. Different guys would be excited about it. Like, so. What usually, about for y'all usually, usually tickets to something. Tickets to something. Like, I'm sure a lot of a lot of guys would like to go see a, go see. a sports, their sports <laughs> teams or, you know, their favorite artists or stuff like that. I think that stuff always is a, it's a good thing if you know your, your the taste of the person you're with. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a big fan of individualism and, like, 
knowing the person individually and going specific with it. Okay, okay. Uh, so what's your last one, least your favorite love song, Valentine's Day song? Y'all can say one of your own choice and then one of your own songs. At the moment. A Valentine's Day song. <laughs> I don't know, I've never... I've never you can't say you don't, you've never, you know love songs? No, but I've never put so much focus on Valentine's Day. I feel like if that's the special person that every day is Valentine's Day. So you don't do anything for Valentine's Day? Not to say day? I don't do anything, but it's not like I've ever really thought of like, oh, on this day I really have to like go over and above to set the mood. That's every day. Okay, okay, it's every day. Okay, <laughs> that's good. I mean, some guys don't know what to do on Valentine's mm -hmm. Day. They're confused. They want to do more than the chocolate and the flowers. I get it. But I think... Play Body Smile from this group called Division. <laughs> <laughs> one of my favorites. One of my favorites. 97.9 in the box. It's Young Jazz from the Mad Hatter Morning Show with Division. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Kate. Well, you to the show tonight. We turned up again. Just like we were at September 5th. <laughs>